hello guys so let me quickly show you how you can download the seismic data using opspy i have made a blog post about it and it has all the details including the codes so uh, let me go through it uh, for you so opspy can download data from a list of clients so if you go here like all the list of the clients and uh, if you run this you will get the list of the clients at that particular time i'm recording this video uh, today but uh, uh, even after a few years if you run this code you will get the latest uh, uh, clients available from opspy so right now uh, during this video these are the clients available which are uh, which all which includes uh, some uh, big clients like iris which has like stations all over the globe so uh, first we uh, we can retrieve the station information and to retrieve the station information you can specify the start time and end time that will be used to find out if the stations is available during this time or not they will also use the network and the station like if you specify some particular network then it will only inquire about those networks and then the stations channels like for this one it only inquire uh, the vertical component and then uh, you know, we inquire for all the clients and uh, run it and uh, we uh, retrieve the inventory but inventory we retrieve up to the level of response that uh, uh, you can uh, also remove this and set it to none then probably you might get more stations and uh, after that we write the inventory into the text file up to the level of station and uh, uh, and then we simply plot it so it's as simple as that and uh, for plotting the stations uh, you can see this is the stas station plot we got and it has like a automatically uh, uh, label the uh, the network which is NC since we have only requested for one network we only got NC but if you had requested for more than uh, one network so in that case uh, uh, you you can do star here uh, or you you can also define as a list and then uh, for plotting uh, the script is very simple uh, it just reads the station info uh, txt file which uh, is obtained from uh, from the uh, the get stations uh, uh, request and then it reads that file and does uh, uh, save the net all the available networks uh, as a uh, all the available unique networks because we use the set uh, as uh, as the networks and then uh, and then we uh, like f filter out different networks and for each network uh, within the uh, available uh, minimum and maximum coordinates we plot the data uh, right here so we plot the uh, data using the uh, the inverted triangles also uh, we uh, use the uh, topography and uh, topography is downloaded automatically using the PyGMT uh, so in this case we use the 30 second if your region is small uh, in that case you might wanna uh, reduce it to up to three seconds uh, and if your region is large then maybe you want it to be uh, longer 